to today I'm gonna do my 2013 year reviews news whatever so this is gonna be like all over the place cuz a lot of shit happened this year a lot of bit a little bit nothing really I don't know because I really want this year to just go ahead and go so tomorrow can come so hey um I'm just saying I just ready to start with another year and get this year behind me and look for better and you know brighter things everybody that's going out tonight be safe no getting fucked up and driving no texting and driving um just have somebody that's gonna be a designated driver for you if you plan on getting really really fucked up if you're gonna be at somebody's house make sure it's a safe house where it's not gonna get shot up i'm just saying shit don't act like we don't go to hood ass parties hood you know what i'm saying and shit happens and shit get out of control so make sure you're not at one of those parties where we can still see you posting shit in 2014 so with that being said um let me tell y'all Whoever birthday is today, happy birthday. Um, Team Capricorn, that's me all day. My birthday is on the ninth, so I'm Team Capricorn all day. My Make sure you tell my girl Ashley Miller, happy birthday on the 7th. I know it's her. It's going to be her birthday. So, yeah. Um, my favorite two YouTube video um, of 2013, I forgot to mention some people. And I felt so bad after I pushed stop and, you know, people start telling me, like, you missed this person, you missed that person, whatever. So, and I'm not going to do it this time. And if I miss some people, sorry, but these people I don't want to forget. So, with that being said, J Mayo from Up For Discussions, make sure you check him out. I love his channel. It's very inspirational. Um, girls, if you need some advice from a guy that's going to be up, honest, and all that good stuff... Check out Jay from Earth for Discussions. I love his videos. He's a really cool and very, seem like, humble guy. So, check him out. Another inspirational channel that I love, I love, I don't know, it's just something about her. I love Miss P um, from Miss P uh, TV. I love her. It's just, I don't know, it's just something about her that just seems so genuine. She's really funny. Um, I, I've seen her go through her weight loss journey. I've seen her go through her, um, going through school and giving her tour, you know, tutorials of going through college or whatever. So check those out for all of you college students. So, um, yeah, those two people I, I love. I love, love, love those YouTubers and they just really seem like great people and I hope to meet them one day. Just like I would hope to meet Ashley Miller, 1987, The Scorpion Show. My 2014 goal is to, like, really meet Ashley Miller and, um, Mike B and The Scorpion Show. I would love to go to one of their black parties and stuff like that. So, this is my goal for 2014. My shit ain't to, oh, eat better, exercise, hell to the gnaw. My goal is to travel and meet great people to meet people that you know i just really see a connection with and stop hanging with the fuckery that i'm hanging with now i'm just saying so to all y'all that's doing these 2014 resolutions i hope y'all stick to them i don't do the new year's resolution because i don't stick to the shit probably later in the day of january the first i'm doing some shit i said that i wasn't gonna do so i'm I'm not with that. I just say I hope I be a better person than I was this year. I hope I be a better person next year. That's it. That's all I could ask for God to make, you know, make sure me and my kids are healthy. My family is healthy. That's all I can ask for. I ain't going into no resolution saying I'm going to lose weight, gain weight, eat healthy. Hell shit. If it's my time to go, it's my time to go. I'm just saying. So, I'm still eating my steak, chicken, french fries, hamburgers. I don't know. So, to all y'all losing weight, kudos to y'all. Also, um, in 2013, you know, I had a great pleasure of reading Joy Deja King's books because of Miss P. Um, I had got turned on to Joy Deja King. So, make sure you guys look at that author. She has really, really great books. Really urban um, shit. Thank you, Joy. Um, I won $500 off her channel when she came out with her last, like, two books ago. So, hey, 
YouTube works for me. I'm just saying. Um, also check out my girl China Sally or Hood 2 book. She has Hood Girls 1 and 2. Not expensive on Amazon. So make sure you uh, support her. I'm all about supporting people. If you know about my channel, you know I am all about supporting people. Whether it's books, music, your YouTube channel. If you got clothes, if you got some weaves, some makeup. And you want me to support and let somebody know, let me know. In 2014, I am all about supporting other people because I always believe if you support people, it always comes back to you. So, hey. um, Let's get into some entertainment that happened this year. I really don't want this video more than 20 minutes, but if it is, watch it any damn way. Um, Catfish was big this year because Mateo, Manti, Mateo, whatever the fuck his name, he was really Catfish. So, Catfish was really good this year. Um, this year should show y'all next year, Catfish should not be that goddamn popular. If we saw it this year, because the first, you know, season, people was like, whatever, whatever. But this year, it had more people on there, crazy ass stories. So, if you still getting catfished in 2014, that's on your dumb ass. But I'm just saying. Shit, we had to bow wow catfish. So, like I said, if you getting catfished in 2014, something's wrong with you and you need to get that shit checked out. I'm just saying. Chris Brown, I hope 2013 was your year of the fuck up. You and Justin Bieber. I really hope this was the year of the fuck up with y'all. And 2014 would be on some better shit. Chris Brown got into it with fucking everybody. He got into it with, I don't know if it was Drake last year or this year. But shit, he got into it with Drake. He got into it with Frank Ocean. He got into it with his mama. He got into it with shit. Karuchi, Coochie, whatever her damn name is. He just got into it with everybody. He had painted his house, graffiti his house, cars. I just pray, because I like Chris Brown and I like his music. I think he's a very talented young man. So I hope 2014 just be a better year for you and you get your shit together. And you ain't got to have all these media people having shit bad to say about you. Um, Beyonce took over this year. She started this shit off and ended the year. I'm just saying she started off with the Super Bowl. Did that 12 minute damn performance that had everybody going crazy. The lights went out in the damn stadium. And then... This month, before the year was ended, she came out with that album that people can't stop talking about. Everybody spent the damn Christmas money trying to go get Beyonce damn CD. So, hey, kudos to Beyonce, Baby Blue Ivy, Jay-Z, all of them making some damn money. Everybody in the family, Blue Ivy making money, Jay-Z is making buku money. He and uh, got with the sports people, with the sports agent people. He and got with the stores that can't nobody afford. Um, so, hey, kudos to them. Shit, Beyonce went on a whirlwind this year. She had everybody going crazy. When you're single, when you're single, when you're single, why you cut your hair? She just had everybody going crazy. So, kudos to Beyonce. Um, Tamar, uh, she did the damn thing this year. She had Baby Logan. She had an album come out. She had some fucked up videos come out. She had some good videos come out. She had a great ass album come out. Um, her show was out, she had Braxton's, Tamar and Vince. So, kudos to Tamar, she did her damn thing this year. Um, she, she ended it out with a damn CD, also a Christmas CD, so she, she was like, y'all gonna see me all through the year. So, hey, kudos to you. Um, what else happened this year? That was like, entertainment, before I get into the fuckery of this year. I just really like get into entertainment. Um, Ray J. <laughs> Ray J, I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Ray J made the list this year with that I hit his first song. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. That song was catchy as shit. It had everybody thinking they hit somebody first. Hey, hey. He got his, his name back on the map from being Brandy's little brother. So, shit, he made the list. I'm sorry. Maybe the song wasn't good, but everybody was talking about that damn I hit it first song. Just saying. Um... What else happened? Miley Cyrus killed twerking this year. People don't even want to twerk no more because of Miley Cyrus or don't want to be compared to Miley Cyrus. So, Miley Cyrus, you killed twerking, but you had a bomb-ass album. I'm just saying. I love her album. I love it. I, that, that, I do the I Adore You song. I like that damn single. I like the video. I will do a video review probably in the beginning of the year. But, um... 
Yeah, shit. Miley Cyrus took over 2013. Can't nobody be mad at her. She making her fucking coins. Um, Kim Kardashian, she got with Kanye. She had a baby. They named the baby a fucked up name. She, um, the whole Kardashian brain is going down the shit toilet. Chloe and Lamar is breaking up. We thought it had a high hopes. I'm just sorry, Courtney. Run for your life. You and, what's his name, Scott, run for your fucking life. Just stay married with some damn babies. Keep making babies. Don't ever get married because you see the cycle in y'all damn family. I'm just saying. Um, what else made the list this year that I really want to talk about? Because this some shit made the list that I just couldn't care a fucking less about. Um, the government shut down, food stamps shut down for the day. People thought it had to do with the government. So, you know, motherfuckers was going crazy over their food stamps shit. Walmart was giving people all kind of shit. So, I don't know. Um, Obamacare was going crazy this year. I hope they get that shit together by 2014. And it, ain't nobody got time to be playing with their medical insurance the way these doctors are charging people crazy ass prices. I'm just saying. Um, the AG wasn't liable for, uh, for, uh, Michael Jackson's shit because Michael Jackson knew what he was doing. So, like I said, if you look at my ghetto views and see my AG, how I felt about that, I didn't blame them either. Hell, Michael Jackson was a grown-ass man, knew what he was a grown-ass man and was doing. So, I didn't blame them people. Um, uh, Burbs, like I said, was Tamar, uh, Kim Kardashian. Evelyn was, got divorced, married, pregnant, beat up. All kind of shit in 2013. So, now she went from a... Basketball girlfriend to a football wife to a baseball uh, fiance, baby mama. Next year, she might be fucking with a hockey player, wrestler. I don't know. So, yeah. Um, Sharkeisha made the list this year. If you don't know who Sharkeisha is, where the fuck you been? Because I'm just saying, these fighting videos have went viral crazy this fucking year. And I hope since Sharkeisha came out with her video that this shit will start calming down. That people will start going to jail over these type of videos. I'm just saying. I just would hate for it to be somebody I know or my kids be going through some bullshit on the internet and nothing get done. Just saying. I don't want to see nobody kids getting knocked out and I'll be like, oh, I know that person kid. That's some bullshit. And then they got to live with that shit for the rest of their life. So, I really hope that that fighting video, which I, I don't think so, because more kids keep watching that shit, but I just hope it'd be some consequences of the shit now. Um, Zimmerman was big this year because he kept getting away with more and more bullshit. The worst bullshit he got away with was getting away with killing Trayvon Martin. Um, and I hope that in 2014 that we can change these laws, we can do better as a society of people just being able to kill people because they fucking feel like it. Because that's what it's doing. People are killing people because they fucking feel like it and feel like they are beyond the law. And most of them have. The little boy that killed them four people because he was drunk driving, George Zimmerman, I mean, the white man, it was another white man, I think he was in Florida that killed the person because it was playing that music too loud. I just hope all that shit start changing in 2014. We start doing something about all this fuckery that's going on in the world. All these bombings, Boston bombing that happened this year, I just hope things start changing and just, I don't know. Because it's just too much going on and if we expect a better world for our kids, we gotta change within our communities, not just my community, but your community. So, if you got some shit that's going on in your community, please let me know so I can start talking about it in my ghetto views or just in a regular rant video, talk big video. Because if you got some fucked up shit going on, I think the world should be able to know it so we can get this shit fixed. I'm just saying. Just like the shit that happened with the Scorpion cousin when he got beat up by the police. And that shit wasn't viral like it should have been. Because I thought those cops, regardless of that boy stealing, he shouldn't have got fucked up like that. So, hey. Um, what else? Simon Cowell got a baby on the way. Who gives a damn? Um, Adrian Peterson killed somebody. And he going to, he went to jail, so, hey, we know what happened with him. The TLC movie was big this year. Then they was getting into it with everybody. I hope Pebble's daughter go sit her ass down. She ain't going there out on everybody. And I'm like, bitch, you're too grown for that shit. 
But I hope TLC made the money that they wanted or thought they was going to make from this movie. Just saying. I really just hope y'all make the money y'all was going to make. Because, hey. Rest in peace to Paul Walker and to Nelson Mandela. I know I shouldn't be saying them together, but shit, they died a couple of days apart. Um, Rest in peace to y'all. Condolences to y'all family. They were both big losses because Paul Walker was a law, big loss really unexpected in the entertainment world and Nelson Mandela did so much for the world so his loss was really tragic too so hey selfies everywhere was too damn big selfies from the president selfie at front row selfie selfie selfies that's all we saw this year at the, especially at the end of this year selfies was just big as shit so don't say they wasn't um what else that was just really big that I really care about People in a racist ass attitudes. People thinking Paula uh, Dean did her comment. Um, the other dude from Duck Dynasty made his comments. We need to get better on the shit that we're saying, especially being in the entertainment industry and the media. You need to just learn how to watch what you say because anything can be misconstrued. Pictures can be misconstrued. So just watch what the fuck you say, especially if you plan on being on TV. Just saying. Um, music that I liked this year was TGT on top. I love me some TGT Three Kings. Go get them. I love them. So, I'm going to always support Tyrese and mostly everything he do. Um, except his Twitter rant. Um, R. Kelly, his album was, yeah, if you grown, listen to R. Kelly, I'm just saying. Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, like I said, Beyonce and Tamar. Um, K. Michelle album did really good this year. Ariana Grande, um, Miley Cyrus, I said. Kelly Rowland album did. It was cool. I liked that her album, Shit Dirty Laundry, had y'all ass going fucking crazy when she came out with that shit. So, hey. Um, Eminem came back this year. I liked that his song, Survival and Monster, featuring Rihanna. I liked both of those songs. So, hey. Um, yeah, though, Kendrick Lamar is always going to be on top. He had the world going crazy on control, so, hey. Um, yeah, that was some great shit. Um, before I go, reality TV that came, went, whatever. Um, Sisterhood was cool this year. I wonder what happened with that, but I heard Dominique went to jail and shit, so Ms. Dominique went to jail, so they should be filming that shit. Um, the New Atlanta came and went. I don't know if that's going to come back because Vine was some bullshit. With, and them girls was just stupid over Vine. So maybe that will come back because, hey, we well, everybody needs Stevie J, I guess. Um, Starter Wife Confidential. That shit only had like three uh, episodes and then that shit went off the air. I want that shit to come back. Especially now that Lamar is going through the shit he went through. And I heard he went kind of went back to his ex on some bullshit so we would love to see that shit film um like i said catfish was big this year tough love co-ed i love that show because soraya and them gave me so much love and they still give me love um on facebook and stuff and twitter and stuff so i really like them um and i love tough love because i think that it could be very very you know you just learn shit from couples and shit from that show so i like it Houston Beauty, I love that show because, like I say, Queensley and Mia showed me love um, when that show was on. So, hey, kudos to uh, Queensley and Mia. I hope nothing but success for in you guys' future, whether this show come on or not. Scandal was big because Olivia Paris is crazy as fuck. And I'm mad that I have to wait till February the 27th to see y'all come back on. That's some bullshit. Um, American Horror Story. Thank you, Ashley and Bondi, for turning me on to this show. Because I am so stuck on American Horror Story Coven. This shit is so good. Um, I'm wa I can't wait for it to come back on. Um, Breaking Bad was a big-ass show. I was mad it went off this year. Um, but that was a good-ass show that I got to watch this year. Um, Orange of a New Black. I'm waiting on that new season. Please let that come back on. Um... Can y'all tell me if y'all watch Between Women on YouTube if they coming back for another season? Because I'm so waiting on that to come back. Um, Sons of Anarchy was really, really good. Thanks, Mike B, for turning me on to that show. Because that's some hood shit. And I like I like hood shit shows. So, hey. Um, Blacklist was good. 
um, Preachers of LA got me a lot of subscribers and a lot of views. So, hey, I love that show. I hope they come back. I heard they doing the Preachers of Atlanta. I don't know, but I'll be here to see it. Um, Thicker Than Water, I don't want that to come back. I thought that was some bullshit-ass show that it can go on somewhere. Probably got might be a gang of damn views, but I don't like that show. I thought it was stupid as fuck. Um, The Real Husbands of Hollywood, I'm starting to get into that. That's a really funny show with Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is really doing it big this year, so kudos to Kevin Hart. Um, really, that's all I have for this year in review. If I missed some shit, my bad. This was a long-ass year, and I ain't had time to be going through everything that really, really happened this year and all that kind of stuff. Um, my year was up and down. I went from moving from Houston, Texas in February to California. Um, things didn't go as I planned on it to go in California, so I moved to Vegas in July. I'm loving Vegas. Um... I love it. It's peaceful. Um, and it's easy to get to California to see my family. So, I'm loving it. I've met some really great people over the internet this year. Like I said, might be. Um, Ashley, I kind of start going. With, oh, I started talking to Ashley and Mike B and Scotty and stuff last year. But I've got a little bit closer to them. And they have really started sharing me, my videos this year. I went from like 30-something subscribers in February to over almost 900 subscribers so oh my god did my sister just get the lights cut off yes so I'm gonna end this video because my sister is blow drying her fucking hair that's how ghetto my shit is but my sister started blow drying her hair and all the lights went out so if y'all don't see me but y'all can hear me Y'all know what fucking just happened. Oh, there y'all go. Y'all know what just happened. That's how it happens on the Ghetto View. And I'm not editing that shit out. Because that was some ghetto shit that just happened on 2013. I know y'all gonna be like, what the fuck? But, hey, y'all got the same reaction I got. So, like I said, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you, like I said, to all my subscribers. Everybody that has been sharing my channel. And telling everybody about um, my channel. I really, really appreciate everybody. Um, if I didn't mention your name, I'm so sorry. My baby Chemo up in London. Shout out to you, boo. Because you show me so much love way out in London. And I'm loving that. Um, but everybody that's sharing me, thank you. Um, if you would like to meet me this year, let me know. We can hook something up. This is, like I said, 2014 is the year of meeting new people and around positive people and people that's go-getters and want something better than for themselves. So, if you're that person, hey, I, like I said, my goal is to meet Ashley, Scotty, um, my Candy from Sweet Addictions. I have so many people that I would love to meet, but you guys live so fucking far. I'm just saying. So, we're going to have to do something to work this shit out so we can all meet. I'm just saying. Some more love. Tasha C. All y'all. We just need to meet. Hey, we can do a girls trip and just all meet up and have fun. Just saying. Y'all can come to Vegas. We can get our party on. Hey. um, But, Ashley, I'm going to meet you this year. I'm just saying. So, be on the lookout. One of these months, I'm going to meet you. Um, but that's all I have. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus. I do everything by the get of you, T-H-A, not T-H-E. Um, yeah. And everybody that I have commented and said their name in my videos, please check them out. Alright, peace.